Hey, it's Booty Quake from Roller Derby Athletics, and I'm here with a plyometric finisher workout. Today's workout is super plyo. This is a really intense workout, and I'm bringing you a couple of new moves that I learned at RollerCon, specifically from Peter Pan from Your Mom Roller Derby. He taught me an awesome course, and I'm bringing some of his moves straight here to you. We are going to do this workout Tabata style. If you don't know what that means, then you should definitely read the blog post that goes along with this workout at rollerderbyathletics.com. And if you do know what that means, you should still read the blog post because it's pretty great. We're gonna do it in two rounds. We're gonna take a minute break in between the rounds. The first one is just a little bit easier. The second one is not at all easy, even a little bit. So let's check it out and see what this workout looks like. Hey, before you go, I have three really important things that I want to share with you that are critical to this workout. So stick around to the end and I'm going to tell you what those three things are. Here we go. Tired already. Tuck jumps. One minute break. Okay, so what were those three things I told you about at the beginning that I was gonna tell you about at the end? Thing one, this is an advanced workout. So if you are new to strength training, if you're new to plyometrics, then scale it back a little bit, try a more basic workout first, work your way up to this. Or just do the first half, because those ones are just a little bit easier. The second half is like super advanced. Thing two. Because this workout is so advanced and so explosive, it puts a lot of strain on your muscles. So this is really meant to be more of a finisher, something that you do at the end of a workout, like a roller derby practice, or a run, or something else, some strength workout that you're working on. Please be very, very well warmed up before you start, otherwise you risk injuring yourself. You could pull a hamstring. Thing three, I just wanted to point out that the front front side exercise that I did in the second half, I sat next to the pool doing some work at RollerCon while Sandrine Rangeon, fancy pants, fancy pants, did that in front of me back and forth for like 20 minutes. So there's some inspiration for you. If you like this workout, then subscribe to my YouTube channel, 
share it with a friend, and help somebody else become a better roller derby athlete. I'm Booty Quake. I just kicked your ass, now you can go kick somebody else's.